this up. We are here in Palmer, Pennsylvania, at the Charles Prince Center for the Lehigh Valley Toy Show. Yeah, the Lehigh Valley Toy Show. This toy show um, is always fun, always a good time. We've done this several times already. There's multiple episodes here on the channel. Yeah, that guy's drinking soda. Um, and it's always a good time. We always find cool stuff. So we're going to take a look around now that we've dragged everything in here. And set up the table. See if we can find any coal. Oh my God, somebody, what happened? What happened? Freaking things. I don't know what happened. Something just happened. We'll take a look around, see if we can find something. All right. So here we are, back in Palmer, checking out the cool stuff that all the vendors brought for everybody. You never know what you're going to find here. I know we say that a lot, and it's because it's true, but you do see different stuff at every toy show. No two toy shows are alike, unless you go to those North Jersey ones that only have Funko Pops. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but the cool thing about Palmer is, you know, there's a really wide selection of both new and old. Um, we actually found the scare cycles at this particular show a couple shows back. Yeah. So you really can find just about anything here, even cool, rare monster stuff. This particular vendor right here that you were just looking at, um, I completed my VIX, um, the Jigglers, the, uh, the Universal Monster Jigglers. Oh, yeah. I got the creature from him at the, the last show, actually. So that guy, That's right. I always go to him first because you never know what he's going to pull out. He's always got really good carded stuff and things hidden under the table and things in boxes and sometimes you gotta sometimes you gotta look with him but you never know what you're gonna find so i stopped there first yes we've definitely found some cool stuff for our own collection here at this palmer show but there's always well, neat I stuff did. like you I, didn't you're no. always at the table <laughs> yeah, i'm always at the table he's the one finding things <laughs> but in editing i saw that there was a lot of neat stuff here <laughs> I love old Batman stuff that's still in the package. The packaging is amazing. Yeah, anything, you know, vintage 60s like that, I just thought, I love the packaging. Mars Attack stuff is always cool to see. I know, I get yelled at a lot. Not yelled at, but people in the comments will say, why don't you film this, film that? And it's like, because I, because it's a monster channel, kids. We're this trying to concentrate monster on channel. monsters. <laughs> <laughs> but and we, Jeffrey. And Jeffrey. <laughs> well, that's we not were both, my Jeffrey. Th we were Toys R Us kids, not necessarily that Jeffrey. Yeah. But OG Jeffrey. OG Jeffrey. <laughs> but I do try to give like a good overview, so don't get your panties in a bunch. I definitely try to show you a bunch of other cool stuff too, vintage retro. Like some stuff. Star Wars stuff. Yeah. But there's a priority on monsters on the yes. on the channel. So, cuz some people say, "Why don't you film Funko Pops?" It's like, "Well, because no." <laughs> so, because no, that's why. Scare glow. Always good to see scare glow. Yes. That's neat. I've never seen one of those before. That's what the original Pac-Man looked like. Ah. They gave him Crane. a face, and he looked like that. Hmm. That's that's uh, That predates the cartoon, too. Oh, really? That's awesome. Yeah. I was going to say, I haven't seen that particular one before. And these are cool. I had I may have had these, I think, nah, like those secondhand. Are I had some kind of Wizard of Oz dolls. When I was a kid, when there was some kind of resurgence of it in the 90s, I guess. And not, not to interrupt you, but I had picked up that Ewok that's right there that you yes. just saw, the, the Wicked one. And I wound up selling it to a kid who really wanted it at the table. So it never made it home, that Ewok. He that's was, true. He was there, and then some kid wanted it, so off to him it went. So Yes. That's awesome, that little alien movie viewer. And Alf. I, lo I always love seeing Alf. I think those Wizard of Oz figures you were talking about that you had were those 90s ones that came out, though. You probably yeah. got those secondhand. I, I doubt the Mego ones, because that was really early. Yeah. Those would have been had to been passed down generation to generation to generation. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think we really those. did that in my family. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just passed bad genetics back and forth. I don't think we actually collected anything. Well, there's that. <laughs> it's always neat stuff, though. This guy had some really cool Little things. Alien's unique, cool. Unique stuff. That Alien Viewer was amazing. and. Mm. Of course, the Remco monsters. Oh, was it, weren't they the same Remco monsters that you were told that you'd never see? Yeah, there was that guy <laughs> at the last show. I was like, you never see these. You'll, ne you know, you, you never see them. And like, I'm like, man, I see them all the time. Bro, we got them <laughs> carded. <laughs> but it's okay. They're always cool to see. And some Power Rangers stuff. I grew up with Power Rangers. I like them. I'm going to do everything day. I can not to say anything about GoBots in this episode. So Yes. We'll stick We're to, trying to, we'll stick to the superpowers. eliminate <laughs> GoBot negativity because it's provided nothing but backlash. <laughs> but, oh, what do we got here? It's a direct deal. That's an awesome mask. Yeah, for sure. 
I mean, anything that's going to look good under black light is always an awesome mask. Well, the thing with that mask, too, is it didn't have the hair. And all the Collegeville costumes that I've seen boxed had the hair. And mm. I looked on the inside, and it didn't have any sort of, like, price tag or rack mask marking. So I was like, wow, I, you know, it was definitely a, an anomaly mask. I'm so used to seeing all the crazy hair on those masks. So that was a no-brainer drag deal right there. Yes. And I had you pick these up for me because I think they're adorable. They were a drag deal for me. <laughs> Even though well, they're not wait, necessarily wait. worth much. I, I got the creature first. Yes. And then... And then you were like, do you want these? And I was like, yes. I almost bought that goofy grape picture. That's why he, he pulled it down. You've almost bought that a couple of I times. I know. I like that thing so much. I just think that's such a cool... One of these days, you'll just be like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to get it. You know today. what it is? I'm going to stumble onto it one day. I find that yeah. stuff often enough that I just know I'm going to. That's something you could find at a yard sale. That's obscure right there. Yeah. That Play-Doh mask set. I've never seen that. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, you don't see those very often, the, the 80s property mm. Play-Doh sets. Very rarely. You might see a Star Wars one once in a while, but very rarely do you see any of the other 80s properties. That was cool, that mask set. Mm-hmm. I yeah, might, that might have been the first time in a long time I've seen that at a toy show, too. I don't. I never really see that. No. Cool piece. That's cool. I think this is John's stand. Am I right? This is John's stuff, yeah. Cool. John always has cool stuff. John's a fellow monster kid like us. So. Yes. So Although he's... he has a Ouija board, which is a terrible <laughs> idea. No one should have that. I don't know why people insist <laughs> on having Ouija boards or selling Ouija. I mean, I, I can see why they'd sell one, but I don't know why they'd have one. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, too scary know. for me. Yeah, I don't know. Italians don't have uh, Ouija boards in their house. You, you, I don't think you'll ever find a, an Italian with a Ouija board no, in their house. No, <laughs> Probably <laughs> not. Some cool carded superpowers here. Nice. Some Secret Wars stuff. A very expensive early bird set. I do love that set, though. It is a great set. We've been seeing it a lot lately, and I eventually, when the price is right, we'll pick one. A lot up. of Star Wars stuff is coming back into the market. I mm -hmm. see, a, I see it a lot now. A lot of box stuff, a lot of carded stuff. It's starting to trickle back into the market. Yeah, for sure. Which is never a good sign, but you no. know, it's still <laughs> cool to see. <laughs> Castle Grayskull. Always so good much, to see Castle so Grayskull. So much stuff too. Yeah, there's a lot of these are these cool are to see. great. Yeah. Eventually, I mean, like, Those are great. I haven't gone down this rabbit hole yet, but eventually, no yet. like, one day I have nope. a place to put them. Nope. I may <laughs> go down that road and maybe get one or two. Nope. Or five. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not happening. Oh, come on. Come on. No. Come on. No, you don't need them. Those are cool. They're amazing, but no. We got too much stuff. It's out of control. Look at this. Play like, money. comment, and subscribe so I can have a mansion and fill it with cool Halloween stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your friends, because I need those. Those are really cool, though. Yeah, they are. They're those great. are like the later ones, right? They no, are those are the earlys. Yeah, yeah, no. They I'm have, still not. I'm still learning a lot about those. They have the correct indentations on the bottom and stuff, and oh, nice. he's always got good stuff. This guy, yeah, he does. You know, he's always got a good eclectic mix of stuff. That's what I like. I love eclectic dealers that have even your dad. You know, yeah, my dad. There he is. <laughs> yabba dabba deal. Yep, and that's actually him in that little graphic, if you were wondering. Because people are like, well, let's see him. Well, there he is. There he is. He's in it. <laughs> He's right there in the car. These are always cool to see. Yeah, I like those. I love the box art on these. Oh, the box art's great. And it's like, you could collect them like crazy, and it wouldn't take up much room, which is cool, too. And they're great to get signed, if you happen to meet somebody that was in one of the movies. I, know, I, think, I think I like 30... 35 of those now or something those movie films mm. well you got the um the day the earth or the monster that challenged the world you have that signed right i did get that signed yeah yeah it looks really cool yeah there's some there's some really cool ones of those teenage werewolf teenage frankenstein all the aip stuff so oh, yeah. that goes without saying that i would want all of those and... definitely and then i found out recently that there's different sizes of them too oh geez and here's a you found right. a pickle <laughs> I was wondering why. And then I almost I realized got that it was for you. Probably not a good idea to ask what you were doing with the pickle guy. Just learn not to ask questions. That one was almost yours, kid. Oh, boy. <laughs> There's the <laughs> Mad Balls football. <laughs> There's always a Deadpool. There were a few of these, a few Deadpools here. Yes. 
That's awesome. There it is, the Nutty Mats, yeah. And this was also a drag I deal. love Nutty Mats. You picked it up. Yeah. They're awesome. I just love anything to do with them. They're such great characters. Yeah, they really are. And this, this you can get the whole box for 10 bucks. Yeah, I mean, really, I mean, this is like kind of like a, this was a no-brainer deal, too. I mean, really. What, yeah. what are we talking, $2 a piece? I mean. Maybe not even. There's yeah, a lot of stuff even. in that box. It's actually less than $2 a piece. You get a Fonzie paper doll. I know, and a Mighty Mouse That alone game. is uh, worth the price of admission. Go bots. There you go. <laughs> In the discount box where they should be. Um, <laughs> it's Sean Cassidy. Party the, boys. The superior Cassidy, Agreed. by the way. By far. No matter what my mother says. Mm -hmm. That is by far the superior Cassidy. Yes. Yeah, this guy had some cool stuff. Like some, un you know, unique things in the box here. And that, I mean, that really, that was a good deal for all those color form sets. Yeah, definitely. I don't know why I didn't get that. I don't know why that wasn't a drag deal. I know. Why didn't you get that? I don't know. It's probably the GoBots that threw me off. Just... All right, I'm done. Now, I think you were preoccupied <laughs> at this point because I think you... Oh, there he is. <laughs> now, I think you were kind of like uh, preoccupied with a box that you're going to see here shortly that had caught your eye. I was. That's what it was. It's, you know, yeah. pricey. This... Once you get something else on your mind, you, you kind of fixate on it. It's this stand, too, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You'll see that in a moment. And, of course, a double shot. Of, this is a triple shot triple at this shot. point of Mr. Flintstone here. But here is the box. This was a drag deal. You yeah, did get that. I had to have that. I almost got this. Yeah. That was, uh, and the, That's you know, cool. the guy who bought it, though, was a cool guy. We actually had a pretty good conversation. So all's fair in love and war and. Toy shows. Toy and... shows, boxes, <laughs> stuff like that. Well, at least it went to somebody cool. That's the important thing, if you're not going to win it. I love this. That's that a is a Japanese awesome. ice cream truck, like a good humor truck. I don't think it was actually good humor, but it was very close. Yeah. A really cool piece. Yeah, this guy had awesome stuff. Yeah, a lot of good variety. Yeah. Like Lone Ranger tie, where you can see that? He's this, always, this dealer's always got really neat pieces. All, yeah. You know, primarily antiques, and, you know, he always comes up with some some really cool stuff i've bought several pieces off of him over the years mm. always always cool stuff but those boxes i mean you just don't see them you no. just you, you really don't you don't see uh the old display boxes like that and I, i've got a bunch of them like mm. the monster ones but that that marvel one was just too beautiful to pass up oh, mm. <laughs> he's, all, he's, he's all over he's just this everywhere episode. he's like rapid fire at the stand especially <laughs> it's like 20 flintstone things this was interesting yeah magilla 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 gorilla it was a good shape too nice cloth costume it was in good shape yeah it looks like usually that that string up at the top's all like frayed and yeah detached from the costume that's cool though yeah i still i love seeing those no matter what yeah but he wasn't good those shape. are cool too old carnival clown that's a cool piece yeah old ray gun a robot. Great stuff, this guy. All the same dealer. Those moments where you snooze, you lose. And that was a snooze, you lose moment right there. Because I uh, was going to go for the Green Hornet box, too. That guy swooped in and got the Green Hornet at the last second. I did get this one, which is pretty cool. I, I love the artwork on this. That's phenomenal. But I almost got the Green Hornet, too. So he who hesitates has lost. Don't hesitate. And uh, it's only money. You get more of that, right? Maybe. All right. Well, at least we got. All right. So I'm here with Mike from Shark and Monsters fan. Look down there below. You'll see the link to his channel. Mike, who is your favorite monster? Oh, uh, Godzilla is one of my favorite ones. It's, it's the best one out of the, out of everything. Guy on camera is second. Then I also like Jaws. My shark movies are. That's why my Sharks and Monsters fan. You know? All right. Cool. Go to his channel. Check out his stuff. Yes. And uh, send him some Godzillas because he didn't find any here today. No, not today. <laughs> Fascinated by that donkey thong. He's a cheeky monkey. <laughs> you, you too are a cheeky monkey. Yes. <laughs> so here's all the stuff. Lots of people. Well, some people. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> you always have nice things. 
Come on, this is a family show. Be nice. Well, I didn't say anything. <laughs> We have nice things. We have blow molds. We have motionettes. We yeah. have. Actually, come here. Come check this out. Okay. All right. We're doing the tour here. We got this. We do. We do. <laughs> Great new things. We got a shark to come. Yep. Yep. Don't get excited. This is a repro box. All right. Um, we've got. Creature from the last June. <laughs> more creature. We've got close encounters. Oh my god, what a goofball. Which if there wasn't a table here, there'd probably be more close encounters. Yeah. We've got some monster masks. These are cool. I love these. Why are we why are we doing this? This is uh this stuff probably won't be here by the time this video comes out. That's true. So come by myself. So it's time here. The end of the video. All right. It's literally two hours now, and you're still here. What, I'm are, you, sorry, what are you I'm, doing? Well, what are you so, doing? Security didn't catch me yet, so I'm still going. I already told him you got to be escorted out of here. here. This guy is he? Is he giving you a hard time? Is he? Is he bothering you? Is he giving you a hard time? You want me to take him out of here? I'll take. <laughs> So it's like the end of the show. It's, the, it's uh, time everybody's starting to pack up, get those last few deals in. And, um, I wanted to buy something. Oh, that guy wanted to buy something. Last few deals. It's tough to find classic monsters. That's the thing. You don't see it very often. It's tough to find. So when you can find them, buy them. Oh, we're talking about that. We're talking about it. We are talking about it. I saw you at your booth. You were busy chatting, so unfortunately I didn't bother you. All right. Well, thanks for not bothering me. I appreciate that. Well, now I'm going to come bother you. I'm perfectly okay with that. <laughs> Let's see what kind of goodies he's got. And of course he's got goodies. He's always got goodies. Yeah, we've it's been... It's a spader man. <laughs> <laughs> we've been buying some cool stuff from him for many, many years now. And... He's always got a neat selection of things. And a spader man. And a spader man. <laughs> I love them knockoff toys. I just think they're, they're awesome. They're hilarious. Yeah. Like the Fetty. Yeah. <laughs> or um, what's his name? Something Joe. Sharp Hand Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's just gold. Sharp Hand Joe is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> those pocket powers. It was cool to see that one because I hadn't seen that in a long time. I remember those pocket powers. I used to have the one that had the skeleton. It was like a skeleton one. Hmm. It was all bones. It was really cool. I had that one. I think it might even glow in the dark. Yeah. I'm going to have to find that one. Yeah, you do. It's probably worth like 100 bucks now because it's, you know, everything's worth 100 bucks. Yeah. That's the new least. number. That's the new number. It used to be 20, now it's 100. Everything's 100. <laughs> These are cool to see out in the wild. Well, at a toy show anyway. Yeah, just to actually finally see them. I know. I mean, a lot of people have never even seen them. <laughs> now they're like gone off the shelves and like they're just gone. I know. These were such a pain to get, but luckily we got all of them. All the ones we wanted so far, anyway. Yeah, now the exclusive one is out, the uh, Glow in the Dark. Yes, which we've ordered. And we'll be getting that soon, which is really cool. I mean, you, you combine the costumes with the whole Glow in the Dark thing, and it, it's even cooler now. Now, this is the second room, too. They have yes. a. This is where, like, a lot of the. I guess all the celebrities are in yeah, this room. Artists and guests are usually in this room. There was. Um, uh, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, was here. The the little kid from Pet Cemetery was here. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't know this till much later. Yeah, yeah. This is like the secondary room. We're here set up, but we ran into disavowed hey, action figures. Long it time is... no see. Retrocon yes. what, a week ago. <laughs> yes, he was in our Retrocon video. We're of course gonna put the link back down here. If you guys haven't checked him out yet, definitely check him out. You find some awesome toys. Incredible booth here, too. Thank you. Blow molds. All the blow molds. <laughs> All the blow molds. <laughs> Have a great show, everybody. It's Thanks great to show in. Make sure to check them out. Links below. Do it for us here in Palmer, the Charles Crin Center Toy Show. I don't exactly know what this toy show. What is this toy show called? The Lehigh Valley Toy Show. Lehigh. They'll never remember that. Okay. The it's Lehigh. always just going to be the Palmer or the Charles Crin yeah. show to him. <laughs> that's that's what it did. I don't know. It sticks in my head. It's been the Palmer show. So uh, good show. Because you collect Palmers. Oh, Palmer monsters. That's why you remember them. Oh, you see, she's cute and knowledgeable. Great show. Fun. Good times. 
Um, found a couple of cool things. I'll show you at the very end for the, the haul. Um, still a little bummed about the Green Hornet box, but what can you do? You snooze, you lose, right? Yes, but now I want to go home and snooze. I'll show you the haul. All right, so here is the haul from the Palmer Show. Uh, these were for Amy right here, these little Universal Monster plushes. Um, I mean, come on. How cute is that? Yeah, so there's a set of uh, four of those right there. And then uh, this right here, 1963, these are the Topps Flip, uh, the Flip Books. Monster Flip movies. This is a Creature from the Black Lagoon one. Uh, I'm going to try to get the whole set of these. The The box is what I want the most, though. The display box to these is beautiful and has the creature on it. So, very cool. Glad to pick this one up. So starts the collection of 36 of them. Here we go. This right here I could not say no to. This is a 1966 Marvel Super Heroes bubblegum box. I love these display boxes. Um, I have a bunch of the monster ones, but this one, the artwork was just... I don't know. Unbelievable. And I almost got the Green Hornet, as you see, but at least I got this one, and I, I wanted this one the most, so very happy with that. This is an original 1960s Nutty Mads, I guess, what is this, Pinball? It's the Pinball game, made by Marx. Uh, I love Nutty Mads. I think these are great. And then this is a 1980 uh, Collegeville Frankenstein mask, but without the crazy hair, which I'm not familiar with... Uh, with these nine out of ten times you see them with the hair um i have not seen one that was missing the hair before never came with the hair in the first place so not exactly sure the story behind this but for ten dollars i was like there's no way i'm leaving this i would have bought it no matter what but it's interesting that it doesn't have the hair all the ones i've seen do have the hair and there's no rack you know rack uh price tags on this so i don't know Maybe they came with hair and without, which is probably the case. But anyway, that's that. There's the haul.